Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just ripped my pants. There you go. I'm at the hotel, motel, holiday inn. Home sweet home. Some hotels require you to have like a parking sticker on your car. So I'm gonna check to see if anyone has one before we do anything. I could not tell you what's a, where's a good spot to park for the night. What I can tell you is that this could go very good or very bad. But anyways, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be an exciting one. I get so many comments asking me if I ever truck camped at a hotel before. Like, you know, would I? Well, I haven't, but tonight we're going to. We're gonna be doing some stealth camping trying to see like how doable it is there is a lot of pros and cons if this does work out which we'll discuss but i think i'm just gonna park right here if anything i'm gonna get kicked out for driving around in circles all right i'm actually gonna back in so we are like we're actually facing the building has definitely sprung it's here it's getting toasty out today was beautiful there's a day this week that's going to be 80 degrees i'm just so happy to be truck camping in a t-shirt for the first time since i don't know winter winter's like five months when you're up north time's kind of non-existent it's been winter for a while i'm starving i had a very long day i have paint all over my hands which i don't want to discuss right now but i am painting something um and i'm just starving i'm i'm so excited to get into dinner we're not even going to do anything else we're going to dive into dinner tonight the truck camping meal uh, i'm just so excited i've been craving pizza for a week but i'm on my diet i'm, I'm keeping my head strong but i made sure to behave really good this week and i can fit in a pizza and i'm so excited i'm so excited right now pizza's the <sighs> I just love pizza. I love pizza so much. Anyways, I'm gonna organize my life quick. We're gonna let the oven preheat. If you guys wanna check out this oven and other stuff that I use, I made an Amazon storefront if you wanna go check it out. Uh, it'll be linked down below. I've been putting it in a bunch of video descriptions and I posted about it on Instagram It's just stuff that you guys ask me and products that I use like every day. I decided to make a storefront I don't know uh, Check it out. Let me know if I should add anything because I'm not really sure I'm also excited right now because not only are we making pizza But we're going fishing tomorrow. I got my two fishing rods right there and I specifically chose this hotel because the pond that I want to fish is relatively close to here, so we're gonna wake up like early, early. Hopefully beat the sunrise, and we're gonna crank some fish. For our pizza dough, if you guys haven't tried this stuff, it's pretty good. I like it. I haven't used the thin crust one yet, but I prefer thin crust pizza. Sorry, I don't really like thick pizza crust, um, but I accidentally I didn't even, I, not even accidentally, I didn't even know they made thin crust pizza ones. I thought it was the thick ones only. Um, and it was, it was good. It was good dough. So we're going to test it out even more. And we're going to do the thin crust ones tonight. Absolutely terrifying to open this. So scary. So scary every time. Look at this slithery snake. I'm at the hotel, motel, holiday inn. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do what I see online. You're supposed to roll it in a ball. Don't worry, my hands are clean. I just put Purell on. Probably should have brought some flour. I have no way to roll this out, so that was really smart. <laughs> this is Papa Spread Old Style Pizza Sauce. Let's see how good Papa Fred is. I've never had this one before. I want to try a new pizza sauce. Not satisfied with this. Like, it won't work. Mm. 
we're gonna really put a lot of cheese on this. To spice things up a little bit, we got some pepperoni, baby. I'm gonna rip it into smaller ones. <laughs> that looks like a pretty dang good pizza. While the pizza's cooking, I say we do some digging to see how much money it is to stay here. Because we're staying here for free, but the people who booked are most definitely not staying here for free. I'm gonna close the curtains. <laughs> For one night, one guest, one room, it is... That's actually not that bad for a hotel. It's 132. Oh, sorry, I'm not a member. 137. Plus tax and everything, it comes out to 154.58 USD. $155, basically, if you want to round up. $155. We just saved a lot of money. Kinda cool. The funny part is, is my mom actually gave me the idea of camping here because every time I go on a trip, she's like, why don't you just stay in a hotel parking lot? And I always say no. I, I always say no. I don't want to stay in a hotel parking lot. A, you have to be careful because a lot of times they give you stickers so that people like me don't camp here overnight. Um, and I have the chances of getting towed. Um, but from what I looked at, I looked inside all the cars when I drove by no one had a sticker on their vehicle or any sort of you know ticket on it saying whatever they're staying the night so that's good but that's kind of rare nowadays another thing guess how many people get broken into when they stay the night at a hotel i don't know but a lot i'm not finding like a percentage online <laughs> this says warning hotel parking lots becoming ground zero for auto theft yeah Basically, I made sure before I got into the bed of the truck, there was absolutely nothing that someone would look into my front window, you know, my driver's side or passenger side and see anything that they would want. It's completely clear. There's nothing up there they would even see. But then I really started to think about it. What's the difference of parking at Walmart or Cracker Barrel compared to here? I don't know. You guys let me know your comments down below, you know, how you feel about parking overnight at a hotel parking lot. We'll see how tonight goes. Uh, we shouldn't have any issues, but I don't know. Do I feel safer here compared to a Walmart? Yeah, I do. I definitely do, but I don't know. 154 bucks. Here she is. Look at the pepperonis, how bad they shrunk. I should have put a ton more. Well, you live and you learn. It's fully cooked. It has a really nice crust to it. Not burnt or anything. But I would not call this a thin crust pizza. I should have brought something to roll it out with. But that's okay. Maybe some flour would have helped when rolling it. I know we have like that fancy table on the tailgate, but man, I just want to lay down in bed and eat. It's camping. There's no rules when you're camping. You don't have to eat at a table. I've dealt with way better pre-made dough before. I don't know. If you've tried this before, let me know. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, which is very possible. So apparently that restaurant is actually connected to the hotel. So we're gonna go. It looks so fancy. When a place is fancy, you throw on your jacket, you throw on your hat, and then you put your fancy shoes on.
stealth camping tip 101. Never leave where you're stealth camping. Just never do it. I just ripped my pants. I just ripped my pants getting out of my truck. Just a, just a big hole in my knee. So that's fun. Yeah, definitely don't get out of your vehicle if you're, if you're stealth camping. Uh, it's just not smart. But I was checking all the windows. No one's around me. We're good. We're going to head into the hotel and uh, see what this restaurant's all about. I looked online and it looks fancy as all heck. So we'll see. See if our outfit passes. Thank you. I found out a couple things tonight. I wanted to get a cocktail. All right, I, I'm not much of a drinker, but when I do, why not? You know, just here and there. Why is bourbon terrible? Just absolutely terrible. <gasps> Ooh, someone's in that room. Someone's right there in the window. I didn't even have like a quarter of the drink either. I just didn't like it. If I drink alcohol, you know, I like a good rum, a good tequila. I just recently started drinking tequila too. Like I did not like tequila at all. And then I'm, I love vodka. You can't go wrong with some Tito's. Um, not much of a seltzer person, but yeah, no, definitely not a bourbon person either. Just totally trying to distract myself from the fact that I have to get in. Well, someone is right there. Holiday Inn. <laughs> Should have gotten like a Shirley Temple, a root beer float, <laughs> anything but bourbon. I didn't realize when I asked um, for the drink that there was bourbon in it. Well, pizza, a drink. And we got to go into the hotel, which I didn't think we would end up doing, but we physically walked into the hotel that we're stealth camping at tonight, and we ripped our pants. <laughs> I feel surprisingly safe here compared to other truck camping nights. I prefer a spot in the woods or the mountains or just kind of more in the backcountry area but you find yourself in the city or a small town and you can't find any spots there's no walmart or crack barrels it's not a bad option just be really really careful with how you pick the hotel and yeah just be safe as always but i'm i'm liking it i'm digging it I'm going to head to bed now. It's 10.30. I'm going to set my alarm for 5.30 a.m. And we're going fishing. I'm going to close my eyes and get some sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning. It's already kind of getting light out. Um, I had a hard time waking up. So there's not much to say. I'm gonna get there as fast as possible so we can start fishing. Cause we got fish to catch this morning. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. Extra jacket and beanie. It's a little, a little windy this morning. I'm gonna start with a spinnerbait. You don't wanna scare fish before we walk up. Oh! 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> I saw him eat it. That was so sick. That was so cool. I literally saw him eat it. That was awesome. Hey, 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 hey. I forgot how to hold y'all, apparently. Oh, wow, he choked it. Fat little dude. He's got a little tummy on him. Probably getting ready to spawn. This is the time of year when they're super fat, pre-spawn, right before they're getting ready to make babies and stuff. <laughs> oh man, I look very interesting this morning with my non-existent hair, my messed up beanie, my two jackets. Anyways, we caught a fish. That was fun. First open water fish of the year, which is crazy to say. I've just been ice fishing so much. Now there's no ice. So let's see how many we can catch. I'm going to switch baits probably, but not right now. I'm going to keep going with spinnerbait and then switch. I want to really figure these fish out and try a little bit of everything. So let's keep going. He was shallow. He hit right at the bank, but I don't know if he followed it in or or what. So, you know, I need to catch more fish to really figure out if they're shallow or not. Oh, do I have a fish? Do I have the world's smallest fish? What is going on? Yes, I do. <laughs> I didn't even feel him. Bye, buddy. There we go. It's about the same size as the first one. Maybe a little bit bigger than the first one, but relatively same size range. Not a bad fish. See you later, bud. I'm gonna try the new Love Grub by Guggenbeats. It only came out like three weeks ago, maybe a month at this point. It's still relatively very new. There you go. Oh, he, he felt big for a second, I'm not gonna lie. I can't lie. Pretty much the same size as the other ones. They're all pretty uh, cookie cutters. Relatively the same size. Maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. Come here. Trying to get me in the weeds. Wow, this fish is fighting so hard. It's not even like a giant or anything. He just <laughs> he just fought so hard. And then he gave up at the end. Bye bud. That resembles pretty much the first fish that we caught. Pretty much the same exact size. I just want to upgrade. Oh, is that a turtle? The turtles are already out. I love that. That was an absolute giant that I just missed. Yeah, that was actually a really big fish. I've missed so many fish today. That was a big one. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't hook him though. Maybe, maybe not. Let's get back in there. Shoot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I did. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day, sitting back and hanging out with me. I had a blast. I definitely think it's not a bad idea to park at um, a hotel for overnight camping, but A, don't make it obvious. That's the cool part about truck camping is I just look like every other vehicle there. B, make sure you park in an area that's not so obvious because when you, you know, when you are there actually going to the hotel you want to be pretty close to the entrance you have a lot of luggage just play it smart don't do anything i wouldn't do or actually that's a terrible advice i do some really dumb things sometimes just be careful it's it's definitely an option 
it's definitely an option. Is it my first option? No. Walmart, all you hear is shopping carts until they close and shopping carts slamming into things and people being loud. And then at the hotel, it was just people slamming their doors super, super loud, throwing luggage out until like 1 a.m. Um, both are loud spots. Uh, you know, I mean, I guess it depends at what hotel you stay at in time of year, but there's a lot to consider. I mean, it's not going to be your most quiet, enjoyable, peaceful night necessarily, but it's it's an option. I, I don't hate it. I actually really enjoyed it. I slept good. Um, just be careful if you're going to do it, but now that I've done it, I'm definitely going to be doing it some more if there's, because there's definitely nights where when I'm on the road and I can't find a spot, I get super nervous and end up at a Walmart. And I think I prefer the hotel over the Walmart. But honestly, the best option is Cracker Barrel. <laughs> so they're not always everywhere in a convenient spot. But yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. That's what my brain's thinking. Pros and cons, of course, but it is not a terrible option by any means. Just be super careful that, you know everything I just mentioned as well as if there's stickers on their cars because hotels do that but yeah yeah that's my conclusion I love you guys I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one